Oh, that's gonna work great. <laughs> A lot of people give the wire saw flack, you know, they think, ah, oh, it's, you know, useless, worthless, it's not going to do you any good, you'll never be able to cut anything with it. However, um, for small tasks, for small projects, and even bigger stuff, I've cut pretty good sized stuff um, with a wire saw pretty efficiently. Is it as good as, you know, like a silky saw? No, of course not, but, but I can't carry a silky saw on a plane either, so there's that. Um, but what we can do with this is we can turn this into a little bit more of an efficient saw by turning it into a buck saw. Um, but before we do that, we're gonna turn it into a bow saw, and that is gonna make gathering the materials for the buck saw that much more efficient. Around here, there's there's no straight wood really of any kind other than the willows down here by the creek. And, but the problem with the willows is it's all pretty small stuff. Um, so what we're gonna do is just get a little bit creative here and use this doubled up piece to make our bow saw. And I think it will be just enough kind of tension on the line, on the uh, saw itself to make it work. But first time I've done this this style, so we'll see what's going on. I'm gonna call this the wishbone bow saw. Wishbone. Wishbone uh, wire bow saw. That's that is that's my term. Nobody can use that without, you know, getting permission from me. Ten percent. Ten percent. I require ten percent from you. That's awesome. Uh Probably hold it. What do you reckon? Yeah. Okay. We'll see why that won't work. What do you think? Only one way to find out. Let's try it on this guy right here. Oh, yeah. That works so much better than doing it with thumb, the thumb loops. Much more efficient, and you can have another hand to kind of manipulate what you're cutting. It doesn't get bound up as much. And you can cut all the way through really cleanly, really easily. And if you wanted to play a little song, you could do that as well. Um, strung up this wire saw into a bow saw. And the reason for that is because we're gonna then convert this bow saw into a buck saw. And it's a lot easier to do notching and some other kind of cutting techniques when you already have it in this format versus trying to do it with your hand. So it's almost a necessary thing to kind of take these little baby steps. Go ahead and do a quickie bow saw. And then we're gonna go ahead and murder this oak tree. <laughs> Why, what's with you and like trying to kill things, man? And you're just like, is that, is that sort of your thing? I want to put it out there because when this is on YouTube, yeah. I just want to make it very clear that I don't care. Uh, <laughs> just, just Jim don't. Bob 40177, I don't care. I'm cutting down this tree, I'm murdering it. I'm taking its dear life yeah. for a fun little project. Yes. <laughs> so don't even leave it in the comments. Yeah, don't, even, don't even want to hear it. <laughs> I wanted to use the most insensitive language as possible. <laughs> Murder this tree. No, I love trees, I love plants. Um, yeah. And uh, this is a very rational thing to do. You'll see this is this is a baby oak. There's tons of them right here, right beside it. And they, so we're not murdering a 50 year old oak. 
And it's a renewable resource, right? This is very oaks like this. Yeah, this your one, house is made of wood. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> this one's like a little sapling, and there will be more that will grow up right beside him, as there already are. So nice with this patented handle, right? Patented Pinterest. extension Jason handle. <laughs> Hey, we're in a survival scenario. There's no use for us to get exhausted. Take it slow. Long strokes like you're doing a, a, a bow drill. Let it do its work. And if you're not so picky you could always just kind of go all the way around the outside of it and then break it unless you want it to be really pretty see it's a little crooked there oh this will never work <laughs> yeah it's going good now I would say to make it really tight, I'll cut on the outside of that line. Are all of these things that we're doing necessary like absolutely necessary for our survival are we going to die if we don't create this buck saw uh you know maybe maybe not I mean, maybe we need this tool to make us more efficient in building our shelter um but really sometimes i, I think a lot of people require being busy in survival situations i think if this was for real um and you're just sitting there staring at the fire or just you know thinking about how miserable life is for you um it can get pretty dark and pretty depressing and by keeping your hands active and your mind active it can really uh, it can do a lot to to boost morale i think and i think that's why some of these small tasks like these, these small chores can be really beneficial not just for utility of using the saw but keeping your mind in a good place So right now I'm just I'm carving the notch that's actually where we're going to insert the wire saw to hold it in place just just like we did on the um, on the bottom side of our bow saw. It's just going to keep it in place. So I sew zip ties right here in my cash cap. Boom. That's us. Awesome. Mhm. Mm like it was meant to be. Yeah, these are Bucksaw compatible. <laughs> Bucksaw compatible zip ties. You don't see those everywhere. No, no, custom wazoo thing. <laughs> 400 pound test, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> How much more you want to go? I don't know, dude. As long as it stays together. Sometimes you go back and tighten it, but right now I think that's pretty tight. Yeah. Wire saws are very good for bone. Although I haven't used it on like old hard bone like yeah, that. Yeah, so this we'll is see. as hard as it gets. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's a nice sound. Wow, that is that's tight. Look at that. Yeah, so you could get through. I mean, if you were butchering a large animal or something and needed to get through through a green bone, it would work much better. Oh, I yeah, easily. Uh, much softer. But that's cutting pretty quickly through through this old, rotten, dried-out, crusty bone. 
you can even you know, use two hands or two, you people. Got two people. You can feel that you can put a lot more leverage onto it. Yeah. It naturally has more weight to it, so it's going to do a little more work for you as well. So it's just going to cut down a lot on the, the effort that you have to go through with this one. Kind of mechanical advantage with this guy. That's perfect, man. That turned out a lot better than I thought. And we made it using only Wazoo gear, mm -hmm. which is Tech even cord right here on the back. The wire saw right here in the front, and then we used the zip ties to secure it. Yep. And we um, we cut everything with just the wire saws. We with, notched everything out with the wire saws. With and, the makeshift quickie bow saw, mm -hmm. which is so much more comfortable and easier and more efficient to use than just doing like the thumb loops through the end.